my main soapbox point is this. I think the disease model, the disease concept, the disease idea of addiction is still 100% relevant. However, I believe if you're rigid to it, it's not optimally trauma sensitive. And I could best explain this slide by telling you a story. Because I think this story really imparts why I'm so passionate about this topic. When I was working towards the beginning of my career here in the States, at a pretty well-known drug and alcohol treatment center, I had a clinical director who I got into a bit of a sparring match with once. Because I saw that the same clients kept coming back over and over and over again. Anybody have that experience? <laughs> that high rate of recidivism, if you will, in your treatment settings? So I started playing devil's advocate with him about it. And I said to him, why aren't we doing anything to address the fact that it seems like the angriest, the most complicated, and the people who've had the hardest lives seem to be the ones that are coming back over and over again. And he cut me off right away. And he said, Jamie, you're complicating matters. We're not here to deal with that other stuff. We're here to deal with their addiction. And they're complicating matters if they want to use all that other stuff as an excuse. And until they realize that they're addicts and that they have a disease, they're never going to get better, period. My trauma bells inside kind of went off when I had that experience. And I even tried to reason from some of my own life experiences, you know, saying, don't tell me that I did this, that, and the other at the age of 12 because my life was good. And he goes, no, you're complicating it. You did that at the age of 12 because you're an addict. And how many people have heard this before? This whole, you do it because you're an addict, unless you accept you're an addict, and that you have a disease, you're never going to get better. That is not trauma sensitive. And unfortunately, what I've seen in so much tra you know, traditional treatment is that it's our way or the highway mm -hmm. when it comes to what you need to do to treat your disease, so to speak. For an intervention to be trauma sensitive, the one word I want you to keep in mind is flexible. Really being able to meet a person where he or she is at. You mentioned the stages of change you know, in your practice. Um, I think that's a wonderful concept to keep in mind when we look at this idea of meeting a person where he or she is at. And I also want to applaud this participant up front who mentioned the word safety. Because it's also very important for a person who has been traumatized to have some sense of safety. 